Hello, my name is Joseph Lanasa and I am a technical writer for Synergy Advisors. Today I'd like to show you how you can use the Microsoft RMS sharing application to securely protect and share sensitive files in your organization. In a previous video, I showed you how you can use Microsoft RMS to protect and share Office documents. In the past, RMS protection had been limited to Office and XPS files. However, the new RMS app enables you to protect and share files of any type. Permissions are embedded into the file so they provide persistent protection. This means that the document will be protected no matter where it goes or how it is transported. Let's start on a client computer where Chase has just finished working on a few sensitive files that he needs to protect. Chase will use the RMS app to protect this sensitive content. The RMS app provides two ways to protect sensitive content. First, we will look at the Share Protected option, which enables a user to send a protected version of a file to an individual or group. Chase will right-click the PDF and click Share Protected. Chase will input his coworker's email address, and then use the slider bar to allow his coworker granular permissions on the PDF. He'll grant Leia permission to view the document and click Send. Notice that this automatically creates a draft mail message with the protected PDF attached. Chase will now send the email to Leia. The Protect in Place option enables a user to protect documents at rest based on either granular permissions or company-wide permissions policies. Chase will now protect a group of sensitive image files using this option. He'll select and right-click the files, select Protect in Place, and apply a company-defined permission policy to the images. Notice that the file icons have changed and now display a lock showing that the documents are protected with RMS. This has also modified the file type. Notice that these files are now PBMP, PGIF, and PJPEG files. The RMS app can apply protection to text and other image file formats such as PNG files. As I have said, the RMS app enables you to protect files of any file type with RMS protection. So far I have shown you how RMS protects PDF and image files, but what about all other file types? The RMS app extends protection to all other file formats using a wrapper-based protection. Wrapper protection controls authorization and content expiration, but does not support the granular permissions we have seen with Office, PDF, text, and image files. Wrapper protected files take on the pfile extension. Here, Chase needs to protect a sensitive video file. He will right-click the file, select Protect in Place, and apply template protection. Notice that the video is now a pfile, and wrapper protection has been applied. Once decrypted, a pfile will open in its native application. We've just seen how the RMS app allows you to protect any file. Now Leia will view the protected PDF that Chase shared with her, along with the protected image and video files. She'll open the email and open the attachment. Notice that the PDF is protected and opens in Foxit, an RMS-aware PDF reader. Leia will click View Permissions, and you can see that her permissions are consistent with what Chase granted her. She is able to view the document, but unable to take any other actions on it. Now, imagine that Chase saved the protected video and images to a file share that other users have access to. Leia will now view the protected images. Notice that they open in the RMS app viewer. Leia will now open the protected video. Notice that the decrypted P file opens in its native application. Online meetings and collaboration tools have become increasingly prevalent in the business sector. During these meetings, users will often present their screen, potentially inappropriately sharing sensitive documents in the process. When used with Office 2013 and later, RMS can restrict a presenter's ability to share protected content over Microsoft Link and other collaboration solutions, including WebEx and GoToMeeting. Specifically, a presenter must have been granted copy permissions to share a protected document. If the presenter does not have copy permissions, the document will appear as a black box to the attendees. Here, Luke is attending a link meeting that Leia is hosting. 
Leia has opened a sensitive Excel workbook and shares it with Luke. Leia will click View Permission, and you can see that she does not have copy permissions. Therefore, the document has been blacked out on Luke's screen, and he is unable to view it. In this video, I have demonstrated how you can use the Microsoft RMS sharing application to secure sensitive non-Office documents in your organization. You can specify both who can open a protected document, and also limit what actions they can take on that document. We have seen that Microsoft RMS protection is persistent. It remains with the document no matter where it is located or how it is transferred. Synergy Advisors provides consultancy and training focused on information protection with Microsoft RMS. For more information on how Microsoft RMS can simplify your information protection needs, please visit our website at synergyadvisors.biz or the Microsoft RMS website at microsoft.com rms. To get started with the RMS app, please visit portal.aadrm.com. Thank you for watching.